Today we have a really busy day on Sneakers app. First, we have a shock drop on the Jordan 3 White Cement Reimagine. I took a really hard L because I really want those shoes in my collection, but I hope you guys took a nice W because that's a really dope pair of shoes. Then we have an early look on the upcoming Jordan for the 2023 summer, and that's what we're gonna talk about on today's video. If you didn't see the Sneakers app live, on this video, you're gonna know all the upcoming Jordan for this summer 2023. But before we go into that, please let me ask you to go and hit the thumbs up if you like any content. Also go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Activate the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video, which is every single day, guys. Also go follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok as Jason J Cakes. And now let's begin this video. On this video, there will be no specific order for this shoe because with the official release date, we still don't have it. They didn't say it on the Sneakers Up Live, but we're gonna talk about all the shoes that are going to release this summer. So first we have the Jordan 11 Low White Cement. I made a review on this shoe, that's in the channel. I think this is a really clean and nice pair of Jordan 11 Lows, but 190 for this, I don't feel in this price for this shoe for real. Nah, uh, uh This shoe right here could be like a 160 or something, but 190 for a pair of Jordan 11 lows ain't gonna happen. Not for me. Let me know your opinion in the comment section, guys. Then we have the Jordan 3 Lucky Green, a women's release. This shoe right here looks really clean because it's predominantly white. We have green touches on the shoe and a little bit of red, but. Yeah, this is a women's release. I can't have this shoe anyway because the biggest size on this will be a size 12 in women and I'm a size 12 in men. So I'm outside of the size range anyway, but this will be a pass for me just because, you know, I'm not feeling the colorway, but if you like it, yeah, go for them because they are really clean. They are really clean. The lucky green that I'm gonna go for is the lucky green Jordan 1. This one right here with this um, Jordan 1 black toe color blocking, of course I gotta have it. A lot of people call these shoes the Celtics Jordan 1. To me, these are the lucky green, whatever. I just like the way they look. This green with a black, beautiful shoe. Really beautiful shoe. In my opinion, this is a must have. This shoe will have a price of $180. That's the retail price of the Jordan 1s right now. and. Yeah, this is a must have for me. I'm just gonna swap the green laces for some black laces and that's it. Then we have another women's release and it's this Jordan 1 wash pink. I didn't thought I was gonna like this shoe when I saw the first images on the internet, but these, what they present to us on this sneakers app live, I really like what I saw. It's like a pink version of the turbo green Jordan 1 and for real, this is a women's release. But for this one, I think I'm gonna try to grab at least a size 10 and a half because I really like the way this shoe looks. I wish they released this shoe and extend the size, but I'm pretty sure that's not gonna happen. So this wash pink Jordan 1, to me, they look really clean. For the ladies, you have a good one here. For guys who want this shoe, if you can fit this, go for them, because they're nice. Then we have the Jordan 13 Black Flint. This one, for real, in my humble opinion, this one is the best Flint Jordan 13 ever. I really like the way this simple color looks, the black, white, pretty simple. A little bit of red in the Jumpman, but I just like the way these look even more than the regular Flint, the blue Flint. I like this color better, but that's my opinion. Let me know yours in the comment section, guys. The price of this shoe will be $200, but the shoe looks nice. And if I can have the chance to get this shoe, I'm gonna get it. Either way, I don't think this shoe is gonna be a sellout because the other 13s are not selling out now. But if I can get it, I'm gonna do it. And if I can get it for on the retail, you know that's a must have. Then we have one of my favorite releases of this year, and it's a pair of Jordan 3, the Jordan 3 Wizard. They are calling this shoe the True Blue or something. These are not the True Blue. These are the Wizards, the PE Jordan 3 is the Michael Jordan used to wear when he was playing in the Washington Wizards. That's the shoe that we have here, and they look super nice. I really like the colorway, the color black, and actually, in my opinion, I like this one better than the True Blue because the red, I think, it doesn't match that nice with the rest of the colors of the shoe. This one, on the other hand, I like this color better than on the true blue, but again, that is just my opinion. This shoe will release for $200. This is a must have for me. I wish retail price still be $190 like it used to, but this is the world we're living in now. 
Then we have the Jordan 2 white cement gray, really clean colorway. This is one of the most beautiful Jordan 2 that I've seen on, on the recent releases. Really clean colorway. We have Ventures look at the issue, white, gray, really dope colorway, but I'm not sure about this one because you know, I already have the Jordan 2s that I was looking for, the Chicago's. That's the one I wanted to have in the collection and the Fire Red 2s, I want those. Those are going to release this year as well. But yeah, this is a really clean colorway. Probably I changed my mind and I end up getting this one because of how clean they look. Retail price on this one will be $185. So yeah, that's a really good retail price for the prices that we have nowadays. So probably I changed my mind and I end up getting them. Then we have the Jordan 11 Low Yellow Snake Skin. This one is a pass, easy, easy pass. $190 for this shoe. You know, I'm not wasting my money on this shoe. This is a really, really easy pass for me. For you, I don't know, let me know, let me know. But to me, nah, uh, uh this is not it. Now we have a fan favorite, the Jordan 4 Thunder. We were waiting for this shoe to release for a long time and now we're gonna have it. First, they were going to release with the stitching in the front in white, but this is the first time that Nike pay attention to the customer and they switched the white laces for the black laces. So probably they just pass a, 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 a Sharpie or something, but now we're gonna have the stitching in black like we used to have it the first time we saw this shoe releasing. Let me know if you're gonna go for this one. This shoe is going to release for a retail price of $210. You know, Nike right now is charging more for the shoes that they know people are going for. This shoe doesn't even have the Nike Air on the back and they charging 10 extra bucks for this shoe. Let me know, let me know about that. I'm still gonna get it if I can't get it, but let me know how you feel about that $210 price. Then we have these Jordan 1 that I want to see them in hand because the quality looks really good. And the colorway is actually really clean. And it's a Jordan 1 Craft, they call them Crafts. That's, that's the name of the shoe, that's how they call them in the app. And yeah, it looks really clean. The quality looks amazing. This double layer of suede, I gotta see the shoe in hand first, but it's gonna be probably a cap. I just wanna be a little bit more sure because it's a really clean colorway with premium materials. So I wanna see the shoe in hand. That's gonna be probably a cop. This shoe will release for the retail price of $180. Jordan 1 price in 2023. That's what we have to pay. So yeah, really, really nice shoe. I, I gotta see if I'm gonna get it. Then we have another Jordan 1 and I'm really sure I'm gonna get these because I like how clean this one looks. And it's a Jordan 1 black and small gray. People call this shoe on the internet the, the wash black or something. Anyway, I don't care the name. I just love the way the shoe looks. Really simple, easy to wear shoe, just this gray. I like them. Let me know your opinion about these Jordan ones. Are you gonna go for them? This one also is going to release for the retail price of $180. This is a most half. This is most half for your boy. So let me know your opinion about it, guys. Then we have the Jordan 5 Crafts and this one looks really beautiful, for real beautiful. The way this Jordan 5 looks, amazing. The colorway looks nice, the materials, you know, what they do when they implemented this craft version of the shoe, they put different type of materials. And I really like the way this one looks. This one's gonna be probably a cop. The only problem to me with this one is that $210 retail price. I'm not sure if I want to pay that price for this shoe because it looks nice, but for that price, you feel me? If I can get it on the retail, under these retail, that's gonna be a solid, solid cap for me. Also, we're gonna have these Jordan 1 Low Black Cement. I thought I was not gonna like this shoe, but when I saw this shoe in the presentation, I really like them. I don't know why, but I like them. I don't like the Jordan 1, um, this, this Jordan 1 High that they're going to release with a cement print. I'm not feeling those, but these with the black accent, I'm kind of like this, I kind of like this. This one is going to release for $140, that's that, man, it's not the price, it's the shoe. The shoe surprised me, I was not expecting to like the shoe. So that's gonna be probably a cop, the Black Cement Jordan 1 Low. Yeah, looks good, looks good. And for the final shoe of the summer 2023, we're gonna have this really dope looking shoe, the Jordan 6 Toro Bravo, the Raging Bull Jordan 6. This one, really similar to the Jordan 5 Raging Bull. I like it, man. I like the Jordan 6 silhouette and this red, full red shoe. I love the vibe. I love the vibe of this shoe. I love red. Red is one of my favorite colors. 
So these Toyota Bravos are gonna be a cop for sure. This shoe is going to release for the retail price of $200. Your boy gotta have it. I simply gotta have it. I love the way they look. I had the Raging Bull, but my cousin wanted a shoe and he was begging me to give those shoes to him and I had to do it. It was his birthday and I gave him my pair of Jordan 5 Toyota Bravos. So I'm gonna get the Toyota Bravo 5 again, but the Raging Bull 6, those are gonna be a solid, solid cut for me because I wanna have those in the collection. Guys, let me know which of these shoes are you willing to have for the summer 2023 in the Jordan lineup. Let me know, let me know, man, because there's a lot of shoes that I want to have here. A lot of pass, a lot of easy pass, but some solid, solid shoe that, man, I'm excited about some of these. By the way, let me know in the comment section if you have um, these W on the Shuck Drop today on Sneakers app. Like I said, I didn't have that W, but I want those shoes and I'm gonna get those white cement to reimagine. They look super, super fire. Thank you guys a lot for watching. If you want me to keep doing this type of content, talking about upcoming releases, hit the thumbs up so your boy know that you support this type of content because you wanna see those type of videos. Thank you guys a lot for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok as JasonJKX. Until the next one, goodbye.